Hello class, I'm going to be teaching you how to create a contact sheet for your photographs. So anytime you go out and take photographs, I would like to get a copy of your contact sheet. Um, and that essentially is just showing me that you took 24 or more photographs. And it also allows me to kind of see an overall view of all of your pictures in addition to the ones that you're handing in for the assignment. So really quickly, what you would do is be on iPhoto. You actually have all of the photographs that you just downloaded. Make sure it's only yours and not your partner's. You go to File, and then you actually go to Print. So before you do that, you actually have to select all of them. So usually what I do, I can either highlight them by kind of clicking on the gray area and highlighting all of them. The other option is to click on one of them and go command A which means command all so either or you can highlight all of them or press one and go command A which gets all of them from there you go file and then print and then you're gonna see um, something comes up and you're actually gonna press the thing that says contact sheet so not the thing where you're just fitting one in you're doing the thing where it says contact sheet on the bottom right hand side from there, you're going to make sure that you see all of the pictures. It'll probably be a few pages. That's fine. We're not printing them. We're just actually seeing on the computer. So I do that. I can make them look bigger or smaller on my computer. But for right now, just to, again, make sure it says contact sheet. And then you're actually using the thing called print at the very bottom. So it's actually right here. I think it's getting cut off a little bit. So you go print. And then you're going to get another kind of this will come up from here you don't actually print it i don't have enough ink for everyone to print it we actually keep everything as much as possible um, kind of through the internet saving through jpegs and pdfs so you're hitting pdf you're going to save it as a pdf from there you're actually going to save it as your last name dash first name dash contact because it's contact sheet and then you're gonna say what project name it is so this one was the Toy Story from there you actually go to the shared folder sometimes you might not be able to see it right away if so there's this little arrow thing you just press it and you'll be able to see this but anyway so you go to RBV class 1 231 common go to your period number go to the folder and then you save it from there Okay, so again, you go to the print, you go to thing that says print, you make sure you get the contact sheet, you then hit the thing saying print, you make sure it looks like that, you go save as PDF, you save it as your last name, dash first name, dash contact, dash what the project name is, go down... And then again, if you see it, it'll probably look like that. You just have to press this little arrow right here so you can see all of that. You then go to your shared folder, go to 231 common, then your period number, then the project name, and you save it there. Okay, good luck. Have fun.